Hello again, everyone, and welcome to this latest edition of Blues Clues from Gulfstream Park. Jason Blewett here. Happy to be joined by Hall of Fame jockey Javier Castellano. Thank you, Jason. So good to have you Thanks. here, Javi. Uh, we're close to the third running of the Pegasus. I think that's where, and there's a lot to talk to you about with your career and everything, but uh, you had to make a pretty tough decision between riding Audible and City of Light. You've chosen City of Light. Tell us about that decision. Certainly, yes. Yeah, so, you know, a very lucky fortune to be in this part. And I'm very lucky to win the British Cup with City Light. Unfortunately, you know, I'm trying to be preparation audible. We have a great career, finished third in the Kentucky Derby, and try to develop it a horse for the Pegasus. But those kind of situations, you have to make a your own decision. I don't want to hurt any feelings. Mm -hmm. I don't want to burn any bridges. But at the same time, it's a tough decision to my to myself to make to to go to to the Pegasus. And I think uh, the reason I lean a little bit because I want to be fair and loyal with the people, the owner, and the trainer all the connection we won the British Cup. And I don't think it's fair to talk off and write for somebody else. I, I try to be fair in my business. No, and I think everybody would understand that. I think, uh, and by the way, City of Light is gonna be one of the favorites in the Pegasus Dirt. Where do you stand because he was so explo- I mean, he was really awesome in the Dirt Mile of the Breeders' Cup. How do you feel about him stretching out at that level and going two turns at a mile and a furlong? Yeah, he's a really good horse. I think he adjusts me every single type of track. I mm -hmm. think I believe when the good horses, I think it, they can do it. And it's easy for them. And don't get me wrong, you have to stretch him up a little bit. But he, in the past, his background, he runs Santa Anita, two turn and he be accelerated. Mm -hmm. I think it, that it give me good sign and give me good feeling. I think it, we can do it. I think it's a nice horse. I think we have a good training. Michael McCarthy did such a great job with the horse. I think it will move it forward. Well, that sounds great. We look forward to City of Light and, and Javier, of course, in the Bre Breeders' Cup or the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile winner, rather, uh, running in the Pegasus Dirt. Talk about the trajectory of your career. Seems like maybe if somebody was to go three, four winters ago here at Gulfstream, Javier Castellano might be riding eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 horses a day. It does seem at this point in your career, you turned 41 in October. Talk to us about being a little selective, riding a little less than say you did three years ago. It's part of the process. It's part of the adjustment, my career. And um, people, they question, Javier Castellani, he don't want to ride too many horses. It's not the truth. The mm -hmm. truth is I'm trying to be focused I'm 41. I like, love my sport. I like ride horses. And I like to extend in my career, my another decade, and my another 10 year more in my career. The only way I can do it, I gotta focus to develop it, my business. The way I can do it, I focus five years ahead. Five years in the past, mm -hmm. I was working to ride the best I could and try to make my name and try to start in my career and try to be Hall of Fame and try to win my four Eclipse Award and mm -hmm. try to win my 5,000 races. And thank God I did it. I went through. Now I try to start in my career and try to move forward another decade, another 10 years. The only way I can do it, I try to pick a spot. Now talk about being a father of three. You're married, uh, Abby, Abigail, who I've known a long time, over 20 years. How has that been at this stage of your career, just juggling the responsibilities, being a great husband, being a great father, but also at times traveling a lot. They're up in New York, you're down riding in Florida currently at Gulfstream Park. Talk about what, what that process has been like. It's tough and it's not easy to to be dedicated, to be consistent, to work hard, and try to focus on one, one a little thing. You have to focus on everything. Mm -hmm. You, I mean, very lucky. Um, I have wonderful family. My wife, she always support. Very lucky to be married with Abby mm -hmm. and my three kids. I think it, I'm being blessed in my life. And because it's not easy to travel a lot. The first quarter of the year, I miss a lot. I don't see my family. I don't spend the dinner together. I have to travel a lot. They over there, I'm here. I have to dedicate to my job to do a little thing. But at the same time, I don't I want to miss those birthday, right? those breath in the morning, mm -hmm. those dinner in the afternoon after the race. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a lot, I think. You got to go through, be tough, be performed, and try to find the best future for my family. And thank God, very lucky, like I say, my wife, she always supported me in my career. 
I don't think I don't need, without her, I don't think, uh, you know, I don't, I could be here. Right. And the raise the kid is not easy. You know, be by yourself, raise the kid, and mm -hmm. try to, you know, be support her in the same time. I think very lucky and fortunate. I got wonderful father-in-law, Terry Makes, a been support my career too also. He always did give me the best advice in my life and my profession to also to be, continue to be successful. My mom, she's here in South Florida. That's she always great. support me, you know, very lucky that part. Mm -hmm. To be continue, to be strong, to be competitive. Well, good, we're glad you're here. And in just the fact that you turned 41, we're not kids anymore, Javier. No, we're, yeah. we're, we're getting older, folks. It may not look that way on camera, but we're no spring chickens. How is it keeping your body now, your weight in check, staying race fit, riding fit? Do you, is that something you really have to work hard with? I don't really have to work hard, but I work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to be dedicated. Very light work, every day consistent. Right. I jog a lot, I do a sport, I jump a roll. Uh, and try to be balanced in my my body, you know. And physical to, trainer, physical right? Physical training, yeah, very right. light training. Mm -hmm. Because jockey, you can get too much muscle right. because you get weight. Mm -hmm. And I think you gotta be careful. If you start getting some weight, I have to fight it with my weight. I think you have to balance it a little bit too also in your body. And try to eat healthy and try to be like me and try to be very dedication, <clears throat> very disciplined. Mm -hmm. I think the key is being disciplined. If you be consistent, steady, you program, I think you has kind of have a success, no question about it. Before we wrap up, I have to walk down memory lane with you for a second and ask you all these years later, it's been almost 15 years and it's hard to believe, go sapper. Best horse you ever sat on? Let's put it that way. I think he won the best horse. He, I would say that because you don't see too many horses. He won great one in the short distance, in the middle of the distance, and the long distance. Horses develop it one, one way. Let's put it that way, one ability, one skill. Mm -hmm. And that horse, when they sprint, sprint, or the long distance, long distance. You don't see horses, the long distance, when the sprint race great one, or vice versa. You don't see the horse when a sprint race great one to one the long distance. And he won the British Cup Classic. Yeah. If you think about it, one spring race, a man a quarter, great one, and the track record, it's still a track record since, since uh, 2004, right. 159 and change. I think I had to give it credit. I think it won the best horse I ever seen so far lately, the last 20 years. Yeah. And that's the best horse I ever ride in my career. I think it implodes, and back then, I was the lead kid who tried to stop a little and try to be in another level, another mm -hmm. stage. I think it, this is the whole, it put me in the map to people who Javier Castellano. Yeah, no doubt. He was your first like big horse and Bobby Frankel trained him, the late great Bobby Frankel. And I just, he's one of the best horses I've ever seen run. And do you, was it his biggest win? Do you remember riding him in the Vosburg at Belmont when he closed from like 20 out of it and won going away? Do you remember that race? Yeah, of course. That's a, and won the first race I win with Go Sap, a great one. And he come from way back. People are thinking he's not going to get there. He's not going to get there. He's the only horse he did that. Amazing. I don't see that. Um, it's an amazing horse. Was that your first grade one win too? No, it wasn't. I gotcha. Think, yeah. It was his first grade one. Go stop it. Right. But not your first grade one. Yeah. But again, he is the horse that brought you to that next level. And there's been uh, no stopping or slowing down with you. And uh, just want to thank you for coming on Blues Clues, Javier. This was really great. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for the opportunity. And we keep forward. That's it. Best of luck in the Pegasus with City of Light. And of course, you can see the class act, the great Javier Castellano riding in the Pegasus World Cup dirt aboard City of Light. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next time on Blues Clues.